Hello, this is Carolyn with Carolyn's Paper Therapy. And I have started to work on a sewing journal that I'm calling So Special Journal. Um, I had a previous uh, video, the first tutorial, which was to create a master board on a 12 by 12 sheet of uh, decorative cardstock and then using scraps and book pages, etc., to create a master board and then cut it in such a way that I got six tags and six journal cards uh, with a collage background. And what I'm gonna share with you today is um, the tags and cards that I have made. I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial, but I will explain each one to you. And then I wanted to show you the layout for the first journal. There's enough uh, material here to make um, a couple of sewing journals, which I think I will do. Uh, either that or I will com combine the two as signatures into a larger journal. But for now, we're going to uh, start out by using the uh, My Porch Print So Sweet Journal uh, digital kit. And these are the pages that I've selected so far to use for this journal. And what I did was I printed the decorative pages and then I ran them back through my printer to print the back on all but this first page. So that every page, except for the front and back inside covers, have um, a planer, sort of a planer inside and then the decorative outside so that I can use these tags and uh, journal cards inside. Uh, as I flip through there, you could see the pages that I'm using. I'll do it one more time. One with the sewing machine on the front and then the buttons and the scissors, the heart and flowers, this is the center of the journal. The thread keepers. A thimble. Uh, more buttons and then the back uh, with a tape measure. And I've done this just like I've done my others. I cut the uh, cut the piece uh, and then each uh, set of pages as I went through I made them progressively less wide so that when I fold it together everything stacks together evenly without any pages sticking out the side. Okay so I want to take you through uh, these tags and journal cards that I've made. Um, let me bring a couple down here for you to see. And what I did was um, I gathered together uh, trim and doilies and ribbons, my word box, some paper flowers, some silk flowers, um, the um, these fashion design dolls that I had ordered from Amazon I've used on here uh, since they show fashion and then um, the the main uh, digital uh, pictures on here are from my porch prints so sweet journal digital kit so I'll just briefly take you through each one and tell you what I did on on each one uh, these are so decorated that they may not slide down in pockets, but I may either fasten them to the page at the top, uh, dangle them from the page, or uh, put these in as side pockets uh, and regular pockets or even maybe hidden paper clips. So uh, the main thing I wanted to do was decorate them so that I could use them in the journal. So this first one here, um, I've used the uh, seam binding that I get off of Etsy that's hand dyed and crinkled and it makes a really nice ribbon to use on our uh, tags and journal cards. I chose the word 
uh, gratitude to put on this. This all this background here was already here as part of the um, collage. You can see a spool of thread and some um, pieces and parts uh, from old patterns. And I described all this in the video just previous to this one. It's the tutorial one, number one. I uh, chose the word gratitude out of my word box. This uh, woman here is from the um, digital kit. And behind her, I just put a piece of coffee dyed cheesecloth and then a couple of little scrap pieces of ribbon on the top and these silk roses that I purchased at Michael's, I believe. And at the bottom, I've cut this safety pin off of one of the digital uh, tags from the My Porch Prints kit. And this is just a piece of a doily that I have cut and fastened on there. When I cut it, I take my glue and touch the edges so it won't fray out. So there's our first tag. This tag here, I used the uh, same kind of ribbon at the top. Uh, some cheesecloth underneath the words Embrace Life. And uh, some of these words are from um, G. Kerr's Happiness with Crafting. I, I have lots of words in my box, but I do know that this and the one I just showed you are from her uh, Words and Phrases kit. This is a little pale blue paper flower that I got at Michael's. This is one of my little ladies from the fashion design, and I uh, colored her just lightly, uh, her dress. This is a piece of cotton lace on the side. This is some trim that my mother gave me. Uh, as I've told you before, she has made uh, hundreds and hundreds of the beautiful beaded decorative Victorian ornaments. And this is some uh, ribbon that she and trim that she let me have. This piece of measuring tape is out of the jar of uh, buttons that I've showed you before and it was a tape measure inside there that I decided to go ahead and cut it up in pieces and use it. So that's what this is, and it's definitely old. It's probably, um, uh, it could even be 100 years old. I'm not sure how old it is. But that's my second, um, my second tag. And they're printed on the back with a, a more subdued pattern so they can be written on. The next tag has a, um, the background is the collage card uh, from the master board. Uh, the words on here are, I choose to be happy today. This is a little blue dress form that's from the uh, My Porch Prints digital kit. An old button from that box. Um, a piece of, um, crocheted lace that is very old and this is the very end uh, of that uh, tape measure with the actual met rusty metal pull that unwound it from a little round uh, disc. I don't know where I laid that or I would show it to you. Uh, this at the bottom this is from the digital kit there was a, a row of four of these ladies and I cut them into four pieces and then I have used my cheesecloth, some ribbon, and those same roses with the pearl in, in the middle that I got from Michael's. This tie at the top is um, from, uh, it's uh, recycled silk uh, that I order from a shop on Etsy. Okay, this tag has another one of the little ladies from the fashion design uh, cutouts. I have put behind these words a little piece of cheesecloth. Sometimes inspiration comes from a single ray of sunshine. I put on here some leftover uh, ribbons and those same ribbon roses with the pearl in the center. The lace across the bottom and these scissors are cut off of a tag 
uh, from the My Porch Prints digital kit and a little pearl I added in the center. This is the seam binding ribbon on the top. This tag has uh, lots of things on it. <laughs> it has at the top uh, some of the seam binding ribbon and I've chosen coordinating colors. I've used kind of a, a blue and green and uh, this peachy color and a, a darker peach color that coordinates with the colors in this kit. Uh, this um, spool with a measuring tape on it is a part of the uh, My Porch Prints digital kit. And this is um, words that were cut off of that same sheet that had this on it. I just uh, fussy cut out an image off of a, a journal card or a tag that was included in the kit. Here's another one of my little girls from the Fashion Designs. I put, this is antique, um, crocheted lace here that I put down the side. Uh, at the bottom here, I have some more of the coffee stained uh, cheesecloth and a little bitty piece of um, crocheted antique ribbon and a peach ribbon rose. And on the ribbon at the top, I have used a pear clip and uh, fastened on it a piece of uh, delicate lace and an old button out of that button box. The possibilities are endless when you start to create smaller items to go in your journal ahead of time, then it makes the putting together of the journal uh, a lot simpler as you go through. This tag has the collage background and one of our a fashion design lady said I've colored her dress. This is some of that uh, lace that I used. I just cut it. It's a big piece of lace and I just cut it and tied it at the top. This is a uh, pocket from the uh, My Porch Prints kit that features a tape measure. This is a little snap off of uh, some uh, sewing items, antique sewing items in a chest that my mother gave me. Um, this, I just punched the, the snap right through there and snapped the top part on. At the bottom here, I have the cheesecloth, a couple of pieces of uh, my ribbon, and a button. This button was cut right off of a, an old shirt or dress or something and still had the thread in it. Then I used one of my uh, pear clips and used my hole punch. Um, this one punches a very small little hole and I used it to punch the hole. And then I threaded on um, some of the silk ribbon, um, a piece of that lace, uh, a little piece of uh, cardstock cut off of one of these other items and the word blissful with a button. And that dangles down. So that's all of our tags. And what I envision is maybe on a page to take a tag like this and glue it on in such a way that this makes a side pocket and we can put additional items in there. Or use a, a, a clip and let it hang from the top uh, so it can be turned over and written on. So each one will be used in a different way throughout the journal. The journal cards uh, are all um, three by four inches. That made it so I could get six out of the bottom half of a 12 by 12, my 12 by 12 collage sheet. And this was a uh, piece out of, kind of a flag, out of the um, My Porch Prints kit uh, with the tape measure on it. Uh, I have a button with some thread in it and some uh, ribbon that I saved, little pieces of there. 
Oh, behind this uh, this piece that I glued on, I put some cheesecloth. And if you notice, I glued this at a angle, and it hangs off this end and sticks up at the top. And so I went ahead and punched a hole up there and put this ribbon in the top of it. I have the cotton lace down the side. And again, I punched a hole, small hole over here for my pear clip. And I threaded on the green ribbon, uh, the lace, a little tag that says um, stay positive and the, uh, this key. I have a whole box of these little keys, all different sizes and shapes in the antique gold that I ordered from Amazon some time ago. So this will be able to be used in the journal as a pocket um, or even maybe a hidden paper clip at the top of, of a page. This journal card here, um, you can see the dress form in the background on this collage that was from the other papers that I used, the Stamperia romantic threads that I plan to use some bits and pieces from, but the main part of the journal will be from my porch prints. This piece here is like a, a you would take uh, this piece of cardstock and wrap embroidery floss or thread around. So I cut it out of the kit and then tied my ribbon around there to mount on this page. And at the bottom here, I have cheesecloth and a piece of my uh, measuring tape, the old measuring tape, and a ribbon rose. This pull tab, uh, I've used my little uh, block, wooden block stamps that are small, and I'm able to uh, stamp words on things, and I just keep this out all the time so that I can uh, stamp words. If I can't find the exact words I want, I can stamp words on uh, my project. And so this side pull I stamped stitch in the space that it had for a word. I put a little hole in the edge of it and I have threaded on uh, lace and uh, crocheted lace and a little heart. These charms are gold uh, charms that I also ordered from uh, Amazon and it comes in a big package so there's a lot to choose from. This journal card uh, features a um, the the one of the ladies from that uh, my porch prints kit, and I fussy cut her out. They're really dressed up Victorian ladies with big hats and fancy dresses. Behind her is cheesecloth and some ribbon, and the words "Be joyful." I used another tab and stamped on the word "so." This ribbon here is uh, from the seam binding and it's just glued, tied in a bow and then glued on there. Uh, have some cotton lace across the bottom and a safety pin. If I wanted to, I could add some things onto this safety pin to dangle down. This would make a nice hidden paper clip to clip at the top of the page and then you could insert things under it on this page and then behind it on the clip. This journal card, you can see a partial uh, picture of a sewing machine up in here. That was on the background on the Stamperia paper. Um, this lace here is uh, part of a uh, leftover uh, cardstock that I had with lace on it that I used as part of my collage. This is a tag from my porch prints kit that I just uh, glued on here. Well, first I, I punched a hole in the top and, uh, or no, I glued on the ribbon and then I used a pear clip to uh, add on these pieces of 
ribbon and a button to dangle down. Over here I have some lace, the word, well I'm not sure what that word is, it kind of looks like cherish, but it was off of some of this um, My Porch Prince designs. And so the little sheets that I have of stick-on pearls, uh, I cut off the number that I needed. And um, this is what it looks like. And they already have sticky on the back. You just cut off what you need. And it makes a nice addition to three-dimensional kind of texture look to your tag. This tag, um, on the collage I had cut out, uh, this is a part of a greeting card, this is a part of a pattern. So, uh, you know, we have a, a, lot, a sewing theme going on in the background, in addition to what we put on top of the tag. I've used a dress form for my porch prints, uh, some antique cotton lace with a safety pin, a little piece of cheesecloth at the waist with these um, silk, ribbon roses that I got at Michael's with the pearls in the middle. Uh, this is a piece of cheesecloth that's been coffee dyed and the words, be patient with yourself. Nothing in nature blooms all year long. This will make a nice pocket. Sometimes I'll even put a pocket on the page at an angle and then the, the items stick in this way. This would be a good one for that. Here's the last journal card. And it just happened to be all kind of antique looking uh, paper with not a lot of color. So I decided to use, I have just a little piece of um, paper lace that I had cut out from my, uh, using my die cut machine. And I keep all my little snippets so I inked around it so it would look old and I used a piece of my silk ribbon and this is a paper flower that's off-white and I used I inked some of the petals to give it an older look and used it on here as kind of a bouquet in the corner uh, underneath this uh, lady again from my porch prints is coffee dyed uh, cheesecloth, the word charming, and then at the bottom I poked my little hole and put my pear clip in with um, the green ribbon, some lace, and another key to dangle down. So even though I didn't show you step by step how to put these together, you can look at them on the video and figure it out and really just use the ideas, uh, use the ideas to uh, inspire you to do your own thing uh, with these, with these items. So that's the beginning of my um, So Special journal. Uh, we'll come back and start to decorate this uh, booklet here. This is uh, the booklet that uh, uh, we do page by page, and then it is sewn together in the center to make our journal. So I hope you've enjoyed this tonight, and we'll uh, begin to work on your sewing journal, or if not, just enjoy watching these uh, tutorials so that uh, it can give you some ideas for maybe something else that you're working on. I just love the colors in these. Um, this kind of muted peach color is one of my favorite colors and the green. So uh, this I am going to really enjoy putting it together. I have lots of uh, antique sewing items and things that I'm going to use throughout here also along with that pattern that I showed you in the previous uh, video. So uh, always remember every day is a gift. Uh, find the joy in each day and share it with everyone you meet along the way. Uh, one time, I have a friend who is always uh, thinking of other people and uh, baking cookies and bringing them to them. And 
um, send in special little notes or uh, she'll pick up something at a, a yard sale or something that reminds her of you. And one time, a couple of years ago, uh, well, actually, it's probably been five years ago now, she brought me this um, framed picture here that says, Today I Choose Joy. And she said that it reminded her of me, which meant a lot to me uh, that anyone would think that uh, I'm the kind of person that would choose joy. And when you find the joy, always share it with everyone you meet along the way. And so until next time, I hope you will um, be inspired to create some beautiful things and join me again when I get started on this so special journal. Thank you for watching and have a good evening. Bye-bye.